In today's video, three simple tips to help you lose weight that science agrees with. Hey guys, this is Paul Ravello from ProPhysique.com and today's video I want to do something a little different. I'm going to explain three simple tips that I think are really going to help you lose weight. And this is the time of year when a lot of people start to focus on the weight that they've gained over the holidays and how to get it off. Well, I want to start by using three simple tips. And why do we only want to use three simple tips? Well, there's a lot of information out there. We talk a lot on the news. We talk a lot on publications. Heck, I talk a lot on my videos about things that you can do. But these are three simple things that we can apply to our daily life starting now, starting tomorrow, that are really going to impact weight loss and body composition in a positive manner. And there's science and research to back this up. So the first thing I want to talk about is our typical daily macronutrient intake. And before you get glazed over, let me explain what I mean by that. The typical Western diet or what we eat is usually around 50% carbohydrates, 35% fats, and around 15% protein. And as you know, we have an obesity epidemic here in the United States. So what do I want to talk about first? Well, I want to talk about protein. Why? Protein is responsible for a gut hormone being released more so than any other macronutrient. Meaning, if we increase our protein intake, we are going to be more full. We are going to eat less. We are going to snack less because satiety is increased. Yes, this hormone called peptide YY is released at a greater amount when protein is ingested versus fats and carbohydrates. So if we simply take our typical Western diet, which is about 50% carbohydrates and 15% protein and swap those numbers around, we will find a few key changes, right? We're going to actually see an increase in lean body mass because higher protein intake is going to elicit more muscle protein synthesis. We're also going to be less likely to snack. Choosing a larger protein meal each time you eat is going to help you with satiety, help you keep calories balanced and help you avoid snacking throughout the day. The second thing I want to talk about is going to be portion size. Yes, we all know if you eat less, you probably weigh less. But how do we go about managing that? Science has shown that portion sizes have increased as obesity has increased. Even though over the last few years, sugar intake has drastically been reduced, obesity continues to rise. Well, why is that? Well, because we don't have a sugar issue. No, what we have is a portion size issue. We're taking in too many calories. So knowing this, how can we reduce portion size? Well, the simple way is to, instead of getting some food out that you're going to eat and leaving the bag available, remove the food from the bag and put it on a plate. There are also some neat things going on in the industry of food. This is a typical bag of chips that we might find at home. What most people will do is open this bag and eat till they're full. Well, they're usually going to overconsume calories. What you can do instead is purchase these pre-packaged 100 calorie bags. What does that allow us to do? Take it out, eat the entire bag, and not have to think. You can also take the large bag and remove some food and track it that way. Learning how to track your food with a food scale so that you understand what actually is 100 calories, 200 calories. This food education is actually going to lead me to the third simple trick. The third trick was actually used in a study. It required that people kept a food diary for six months. What it found was the people that tracked their food in the diary six days a week or more lost twice as much weight as the people that only tracked their food in the food diary one day a week. What is a food diary? For some people, it might just be a piece of paper and you write things down. But with technology, we now have apps on our phone that can be just as effective and make tracking food very easily from barcode scanners and search options. You can find just about anything at any restaurant at any food that you eat is going to be available for tracking. Now we have three simple tips and the research I will list below the links so that you can look at the studies that show if we increase protein intake, we will increase satiety and reduce hunger throughout the day. 
If we manage our portion sizes better, we will reduce our calories and reduce our snacking. If we are accountable and keep a food diary, we are more likely to lose weight. Implement these three tips and let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you tomorrow.